Hi guys, my name is Jordan and welcome to Money Monday. Alright, so this is a small series that I've been wanting to put out um, but I didn't do so because on the YouTube platform it's very crowded for personal finance and there's a lot of people sharing um, different kinds of information that might or might not be related to what um, you have in Singapore as well. But this is going to be my personal experience for the different financial tools and instruments that I'm using and hopefully this can serve to you as some knowledge during this you know, lockdown period when we're locked at home, we can't go out. Alright, so uh, I'm just an average Singaporean in the working class and uh, what really made me interested in personal finance was Bitcoin. Um, this was about three to four years back um, when my late grandfather passed on and I had a chat with my uncle during one of the nights and he was sharing um, things like, Hey Jordan, how's your day at work? Normal day, it's just work, you know, work, work, work. And then he kind of shared with me about what cryptocurrency was. And at that point of time, um, not many people knew what, what Bitcoin was, cryptocurrency was. Nobody knew anything about it. I took out 500 bucks and that was the best 500 bucks I've ever spent in my life. Um, other than going on holidays. So that 500 bucks, um, we bought a, a token called Golem that went from, I think, one cent all the way to 10 cents. So I got a, a 10, 10, 10x, basically, I 10x my money, I think within a week or two. So uh, that was my very, very first kind of investment that I did for myself about three to four years ago. So uh, fast forward six months um, after my trade with Golem, uh, we're still using a platform called Polynex. Uh, I don't think it's still around. Maybe it's still around, but uh, there's some issues with it right now. So um, six months later, that 500 bucks um, went to 5,000. It went to 50,000 through different um, uh, uh, means of, of earning money on the crypto market. You have things like staking, you have things like airdrops, you have things like uh, arbitrage. So there's, there's a lot of ways to earn money um, on the crypto scene. So that was how I started getting more interested in personal finance and how else I can earn more money outside of my, my, my day job. So um, fast forward another year and then we saw the crash of the crypto market where you see Bitcoin go from 20,000 all the way to I think it went to 3,000. Um, uh, and that was one of the biggest regrets I had in my life that I didn't sell Bitcoin when I had the opportunity to because I had quite a bit of it. But then um, that's done and dusted. And now um, I'm actually looking at different kind of um, instruments that can actually help people earn more money. And okay, when I say people, I don't give them financial advice, but I share with them uh, what I use and what I go through as well. So for the same thing for this video, do not take this as financial advice, but take it as like um, entertainment, some extra knowledge. All right. So for start of for this mini series, um, this episode one, I do hope I have um, time to do more in the future. But with the current situation where everybody's locked at home, I think it's going to be pretty interesting and see how much I can push myself as well. So uh, what I'm going to talk about is that um, what, what am I going to talk about? Uh, financial instruments that everyone can have access to and slowly build up passive income. Like myself, I have a goal of how much I want to work towards and how much I want to receive at the end of a year um, through passive income means. And I hope that everybody uses this period of the lockdown or if you're in Singapore, the circuit breaker to actually plan out and map out your financial goals so that when we hit a crisis in the next 10 to 12 years, which is every cycle that we see, you know, we won't be stressed out, we will not be afraid that we do not have a job and we are not afraid that, you know, we're going to lose a source of income as well. So let's talk about the current situation that we're in right now. Um, the, the market isn't doing the best right now. Um, everything's like going like a nose dive. Um, but here are some tools that I use to actually keep my mind busy um, thinking of how to earn a small sum of money in this current time and situation. Number one. So I have a high yield bank account, um, which is with um, CIMB Fast Saver. Oh, that's the whole name of the account, like CIMB Fast Saver account. So this account pays you a pretty high interest. Wait for it, a very very high interest of one percent. So you must be thinking, hey Jordan, it's only one percent. Um, how is that high? 
So if you if you were to compare to other banks in Singapore, uh, most of the savings accounts actually pays you a percentage of 0.05% per annum, whereas CIMB is paying you a 1%, which is 20 times more than what you'll be getting um, from the other banks as well. The second tool that I use is um, Singapore Savings Bond. This is something that I've started up with my um, partner two years ago before I went to New Zealand. Um, we actually put in some money here that um, at that point of time, the bonds were paying pretty good uh, rates. I think we were getting like an average of about 2.1% if we kept it there for 10 years. But um, as of um, the recording of this video, the last I checked, the, the bonds are paying an average of 1.3%. Um, if you have to, if you if you were to hold it across a period of ten years, and the beauty of this is that um, this is redeemable at any point of time. Um, you do not forfeit. You don't have to pay fees if you want to um, do an early redemption of your bonds. And the third one is actually um, stock and shares. So. Um, Remember before this, I was talking about like Jordan was doing crypto. So um, I used some of my crypto money and I put it into stocks and shares. Before you go like, Hey, don't you need a lot of money to start investing in shares, Jordan? How can we even invest when everything's on a lockdown and we don't even have money or even a job? So there's a few ways you can actually look at this. Um, there are many financial tools and instruments out there that allows you to trade with, with as little as $100. Uh, one of the brokers that I use a lot to trade um, US stocks because they are a bit more volatile as compared to the stocks in Singapore is Interactive Broker and I will leave a link below if you are looking to sign up for an account um, I do not get paid, uh, there is no referral fee but the beauty of, of um, Interactive Broker is that per transaction that you do it costs you only one US dollar so imagine if you are going to buy a Google stock which is like a thousand three you only pay one percent so unfortunately um, we do not have Robinhood we do not have um, Revolut that has a trading facility right now um, because those are fantastic they give they have no transaction fees at all like like zero dollars you don't have to pay so much for that you actually pay nothing except your phone bill so we don't have that but that's that so yeah, so those are the three tools that I'm using right now to keep myself busy um, so that I do not go crazy staying in the house uh, and yeah and and this allows me to actually build up small little pockets of money that allows me to reach my goal um, I won't say in the near future but probably like 20-30 years down the road um, this will be small money that will add up into big money if I'm able to compound it very very well so, let me know what's your favorite tool that um, you have used and leave it in a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!